Hey everyone, I'm going to quickly explain how you can track your goals and habits using Task Analytics for Todoist. So if you haven't created an account, you can just sign in with your Todoist account. You can grant read-only access, so I'm not going to modify your data. And once you're in the app, you can go to the goals uh, page. Now I'm, I don't have any goals, so I'm going to create one. When you want to create a goal, you can either track a task which has subtasks or you can track a project with tasks. So let me give you a quick example so you can understand this. Uh, I have this task called finish project, which has a bunch of subtasks. Okay, and I can go here and select that task. So I'm just going to search for it. Okay, I can set a custom deadline if I want or leave the one from the task. I can also add the tags, for example, the work tag um let's add the goal and now as you can see uh i have six tasks left zero percent completed so let's go here and i'm going to complete this task okay i'm going to also open the goal and now the application automatically syncs the data okay so if i refresh the page you'll see that the goal is 17 percent done let me complete some more tasks okay i can also manually trigger the sync if i don't want to wait a few seconds okay and now let me refresh okay and i see that uh, the project is 50 percent done and uh, the goal is 50 percent complete I can also add more goals. Uh, now I'm going to add one from a project. So let's say that I have this lose weight project. I'm going to put the help tag, hit enter, and I'm going to add the goal. Now, as you can see, the overall progress decreased because I have less progress on the lose weight uh, goal. If I go here, I see that I have a bunch of tasks that I need to complete for this goal and these are from the lose weight project okay um, one thing to mention here is that uh, recurrent tasks are not included in the progress i'm going to include this but i need some feedback on how to implement it for example going to the gym might have a, i don't know a weight of five percent so going 10 times to the gym helps you complete 50 cent of the goal something like that i still have to figure it out for now uh, just remember that uh, you won't see them here okay um let me go back i can also filter the goals so let's say that i want to see only the status for my health goals i can do that with the tags or for the work goals that's pretty much it um now let's go to habits habits work in the same way you can uh, track a habit from a recurring task. So in this app, you're not going to be able to create habits or goals that are not a part of your to-do list uh, set of tasks or projects. Okay, uh, I'm going to select, uh, go to the gym and I'll put it daily. Um, now the deadline uh, is uh, 66 days in the future because that's how much it takes to uh, create a habit on average but you can modify this okay i can put it like the first of february and i can put the start date to be first of december right now once i did this we we'll see that i have a heat map uh, and here i can see all the occurrences for this habit in the past now the completion rate takes into account only the occurrences that happened from the start date so let's say that i put the start date today now i see that i have a 100 percent completion rate because the habit started today and today i completed it once tomorrow if i don't complete it then i have 50 percent and so on uh, i can click here and go to the recurring tasks in uh, to do it and uh, tomorrow for example if i want to complete it i can just uh, use this to go to the task and complete it directly now let's add another habit i'm going to add another daily one um, let's see maybe this one okay create 
and now the heat map changed so why did this happen because uh, only in one day all my daily habits were completed so on saturday uh, september 28th i see that i completed both the habits but on the rest of the days only one habit uh, was completed either go to the gym or publish up for demo task sorry uh, I can also filter this uh, heat map by clicking on a habit. So for example, if I want to see only the occurrences for a demo task, I can click on it uh, or I can uh, see the ones for go to gym. And if I don't uh, select any of them, I'll have the heat map with all of them combined. The weekly habits heat map works in the same way. Let's say that I uh, create another habit, go to gym and I'm going to put this weekly three times per week going to create this one and now I can see in which weeks I completed the habit in which weeks I managed to complete it at least three times okay and the uh, same way works for the monthly habits let me put this let's put it once per month and I see that uh, since September I managed to complete it at least once every month that's pretty much it so the basic idea is that you are able to track your existing to do list data so you don't have to create other habits or goals inside this app. I think this is easier so you don't have to use another app where you have different tasks because I tried this and it was too complicated so I prefer to have this tracked only with to do list. Okay, I hope uh, it was easy to understand and I would appreciate if you have feedback because I just created these uh, features for tracking goals and habits. So uh, if I'm going to do any changes, now would be the perfect time to get some feedback and shape the, these features. Enjoy.